Hello, and welcome to this tutorial where we'll be looking at Stereo Creator from Austrian Audio. This plugin is the third such piece of software that expands the post production possibilities of the OC818. Our team at Austrian Audio doesn't just want to create fantastic sounding microphones, we also take every opportunity to advance audio technology. The OC818 has a dual output that allows the front and rear of the capsule to be recorded on separate tracks. Stereo Creator affords us the possibility to work with three different stereo techniques after recording four channels of audio with a pair of OC818s. Let's start with the installation. Please visit our website austrian.audio, choose Microphones, the OC818, and scroll downwards. There you'll see the OC818 mic system and the download link to the Stereo Creator plugin. The plugin is free and is available to both Mac and PC users. Once you've downloaded the software, run the installer and follow the installation instructions. In this video, we'll demonstrate Stereo Creator with a recording of a classical guitar piece. Please note how the microphones are placed for this recording. Here we're using Pro Tools Ultimate, but you can use any recording software that supports quad bussing or quad tracks. I'm setting up a quad aux bus and loading Stereo Creator. You'll find it under Other, or if you filed your plugins by manufacturer, under Austrian Audio. Please choose Quad to Stereo option. Once the plugin is loaded, the quad aux bus still has four inputs but now has a stereo output. Each separate track needs to be routed into the quad bus, as demonstrated here on the plugin's interface. Looking at the sound source, we see channel 1 on the left, channel 2 on the right, channel 3 is the front side of the top microphone capsule, and channel 4 is on the rear side of the top mic. It is very important to have this order set correctly. The lower microphone, channels 1 and 2, is turned 90 degrees towards the sound source, whilst the upper mic faces the sound source directly. It is also worth mentioning at this point that with a single OC818 it is possible to make stereo recordings. For this, you need to choose Pseudo MS or Pseudo Stereo. As we're working with a pair of OC818s, we have four channels, so we'll select True MS, True Stereo, or the Bloomline available settings. At this point, let's demonstrate the three options by playing back a recording. As you can hear, the levels are constantly changing. That's why we have built in a compensate gain function where you can readjust the levels, either manually or automatic. But I'll need to demonstrate this with another section of the song. Press play and click on here. The level will be analyzed for 1.5 seconds. If you do this on the same section, you'll have the perfect comparison. Mm -hmm. 